Hola, mi nombre es Samuel, soy estudiante de onceavo IB y les voy a contar un cuento para la celebración del Día del Medio Ambiente en este mes. Espero que les guste. Franklin plants a tree. Franklin could climb trees and swing from branches. He liked to play with his friends at the house, tree house, and go for walks with his family in the woods. So Franklin was excited when he learned that Mr. Heron was giving away trees for Earth Day. He could hardly wait to have his own tree in his own backyard. On Earth Day, Franklin got up early and dug a huge hole right outside his bedroom window. He wanted to plant his tree as soon as he got it home. Tonight, he'd invite his friends over to build a new tree house. Tomorrow, he'd look for an old tire and make a swing. Franklin grabbed his wagon and hurried off. He didn't want all the big trees to be taken. In the park, a large crowd was lined up in the front of Mr. Heron. Franklin saw lots of boxes, but he didn't see the trees. Maybe they are not here yet, he thought. Then he saw Rabbit leaving. Don't you want a tree? Franklin asked. I have one, Rabbit replied, tapping his knapsack. Franklin was confused. Rabbit reached into his knapsack and pulled out a tiny tree. That's not a tree, Franklin exclaimed. That's a twig. It's a baby tree, Franklin explained Beaver. It's called a sapling. Mine's an ash and Rabbit has an oak. Well, I'm not getting a sapling, Franklin declared. My tree has to be big enough to play in today. But when Franklin got to the front of the line, Mr. Heron gave him a sapling the same size as the others. Could I have something bigger? asked Franklin. This is a sugar maple, replied Mr. Heron. Many years from now it will be very big indeed. Franklin nodded sadly. He put the sapling in his wagon and walked slowly home. Franklin sighed as he stared at the huge hole in his backyard. He shoved earth back until it was small. Then he went to get his sugar maple, but the sapling wasn't there. Franklin looked all around the garden and up down the lane. It must have fallen out on the way home, he decided. At lunchtime, Franklin told his parents about losing his tree. But it doesn't matter, he said, he added. It wasn't big enough to play in it. Big or little, you promised to take care of it, said his father. Franklin slumped down on his chair. All right, he sighed. I'll go look again. Franklin followed the path back to the park. By the pond, he saw Beaver, her sapling tied to a big stick marked with notches. It's a growth chart, Beaver explained. In three years, my tree will be taller than me. Hmm, thought Franklin. He began to look a little harder. In the meadow, Franklin saw Rabbit with a watering can. I've planted my sapling where it can get lots of fresh air and sunshine, explained Rabbit. And I'm going to water it every day, he added. Franklin thought about this sugar, his sugar maple. It didn't get sunshine and fresh air and water, it would never be taller than him. Franklin started to hurry. Near the woods, Franklin saw Bear painting a small fence bright red. Inside it was Bear's sapling. This will protect my pine tree until it's big and strong, Bear explained. I don't want anyone to step on it by mistake. Franklin thought about someone stepping on his sugar maple. If that happened, it would never grow big and strong and taller than him. 
Franklin told Bear everything. I've looked all over, Franklin moaned. Now what do I do? Maybe someone found your tree and gave it back to Mr. Heron, Bear suggested. Franklin cheered up and ran off to find Mr. Heron. Back at the park, Franklin saw Mr. Heron packing up boxes. How's your sapling doing in his new home? Mr. Heron asked. I lost my tree, Mr. Heron, Franklin replied. I've looked everywhere, but I can't find it. Mr. Heron reached into a box and lifted out a sapling. This is it, Franklin, he asked. Someone found it on the path. My tree, cried Franklin. Thank you, Mr. Heron. I'm going to plant it right away, Mr. Heron smiled. Before Franklin left, Mr. Heron showed him a photograph. That's me when I was your age, he explained, planting my first tree. Did it grow? asked. It sure did, Mr. Heron laughed. You were standing under it. Franklin looked way, way up. You planted the treehouse tree? he exclaimed. Then Franklin looked down at his sapling. Hmm, he said thoughtfully. Franklin hurried home, his sapling held safely in his arms. He planted it and watered it and then checked on it every day. And every day Franklin was sure that his tree grew a little taller and a little stronger, just like Franklin. <laughs>